you just tell us a little bit about, about this slum, Boston? Boston, there is a lot of gangs. And they have this imaginary line where you cannot cross. If you cross, you're going to be killed. When I talk about teenage pregnancy, of course, I'm talking about extreme poverty. Many of my girls live with 25 cents every single day. We're talking about girls that don't have access to medical health. They don't know what a healthy food or healthy habits. They don't have the proper education. But that's our most beautiful raw material we can work with. So we're going to Dameli's house. Uh, she's going through the uh, recruitment process in Guanfe Foundation. We're not sure. We're just going to go do there. You, how, how do you? Um, it's, it must be so hard for that committee to decide who's out. We're very strict in how we recruit the girls out in the barrios. In Cartagena, there are probably, for sure, 5,000 teenage moms a year. And we only have room for less than 10%. Buenos dias. Hola. Como están? Puedo entrar? Right now, Damalis is six, seven months pregnant. Como están, mi amor? She started prostitution at a very early age. Mama, ven. Dos hijos se le murieron. Her mom. She's having a lot of economic problems. She earns $8 a day and $7. She needs to pay debts to pay the funeral of her own son. Damalis saw her mom with a lot of economic problems, and she wanted to help her mom. She had this friend. She, she was in a prostitution. And she kept telling her, let's go to Barranquilla, because over there, we're going to earn money. Tú eras consciente de lo que significa ir a la prostitución, o simplemente te aventajaste porque una amiga te dijo. She wasn't aware. She just said, as a teenager, I'm going to go for it. Cuando tú entraste a ese mundo de la prostitución, mi amor, ¿qué pensabas? ¿Qué sentías? Quiero entender. Pues la verdad, no sentía porque siempre estaba de droga. She was on her drugs while she was having her her life in prostitution. Mamá, ¿tú sabes? Que yo nunca le dejaba el teléfono buscándolas. ¿Quieres regresar a estudiar? Sí. Sí. I think Don Elise is probably representative of a lot of girls who ended up in all kinds of troubles who don't have a great future. I'm sorry about your brother being murdered. I'm not 100% sure that Juan Fe can solve that problem. One of the problems they have is gang violence. That is not something that Juan Fe is going to be able to solve. No sé si lo vamos a recibir, pero después de esta entrevista me tengo que reunir con el comité. Bueno, mi amor, queremos saber.